Hey, you might remember learning about this in school. In 1978, the world's first test tube baby was born in England. In vitro fertilization, otherwise known as IVF, is a type of assisted reproductive technology that helps with the fertilization process outside of the body. Louise Brown was born to parents, John and Leslie Brown, via IVF at the Alderman District General Hospital in England. At the time, Leslie had been trying to get pregnant for several years, but to no avail. So she and her husband sought the help of doctors at the hospital, who had been researching a new technique to help women who were unable to conceive naturally. The procedure itself involved extracting eggs and sperm from the parents and fertilizing the egg with the sperm in a Petri dish. After several days of monitoring and development, the embryo was then transferred into the mother's uterus. The procedure was successful and nine months later, on July 25, 1978, Louise Joy Brown was born. She weighed 2 pounds, 11 ounces, and measured 18 inches long. And as far as we know, she was completely healthy. Doctors had actually attempted the procedure a few times before, but this was the first time it had been successful. And the medical team at the hospital were ecstatic. Professor Robert Edwards, who led the research team, said, It is impossible to convey the elation that all of us feel. We have been trying to achieve this for so long. News of the birth spread quickly and the Browns were inundated with well wishes from around the country. The Queen Mother sent a floral tribute to the hospital, and thousands of people gathered outside the Browns' house to catch a glimpse of the family. Of course, not everyone was happy. Some religious groups argued that the procedure was unnatural and that it was wrong to intervene in the way that humans reproduce. There were also concerns about the long-term effects of IVF on the child. But as Louise grew up seemingly unaffected, these concerns began to subside. Today, IVF is a common and accepted form of fertility treatment, and has helped millions of people around the world to have children. And while the procedure has come a long way since 1978, the basic premise remains the same, thanks to the work of Professor Edwards and his team, as well as the courage of Louise's parents. In vitro fertilization has given hope to millions of infertile couples. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, Hit like and subscribe and leave your suggestions for topics that we should cover in the future.